old owl sat in an oak. The more he heard, the less he spoke. The less he spoke, the more he heard. All children should learn to be like this wise old bird. Now this morning I want to talk about a man who is often referred to as the owl because owls in many stories are named after him. Now this great man was born in Syracuse in Sicily. He was born in 287 BC. His father was a mathematician and one of the calculations he was working on was the distance from the earth to the moon. Very often this young man would go out at night with his father and look up at the sky and marvelled at all that he saw. He loved to learn and spent his younger life at the library in Alexandra. Here he worked very hard and became a great inventor. He and a close friend had a unique way of writing to each other. They would wrap a piece of papyrus in a certain way around a rod and then write on it. And it would only be read if you had the correct size of rod to unwind it on. A great idea for a Bond movie, I am sure. He invented an endless corkscrew. It is a device still used in some parts of the world for raising water. And he spent nearly all his adult life advising King Heron and inventing a new science of practical mechanics. He made an amazing machine that could move heavy ships in the harbour without very much effort at all. He also made many machines that could defeat an army that worked against his people. When the Romans were finally able to capture Syracuse, the Roman leader respected the man, now 75 years old. He was the inventor, the inventor of all things, and the Roman leader thought this was a wonderful thing to have. But sadly, one of his foolish Roman soldiers killed him. We do not think about him so much now, and he is very seldom featured in lessons, but his famous principle is always with us. When a solid is weighed in air and then in water, the apparent loss in weight is equal to the weight of the water displaced. A principle we do all learn in our science lessons, but I can honestly say we very rarely remember them. Eureka! The wise and intelligent man is, of course, Archimedes. And so, to this day, a wise old owl in any children's story will always bear his name. <laughs>